What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another YouTube video. Uh, today, I got the hoodie on and the glasses. Uh, but if you guys are enjoying the content that I've been posting and you guys have been enjoying the videos recently, subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, and hit that like button too. Hit that like button too. Um, but besides that being said, I do got a serious message to portray. And um, this message is really about uh, pride. Um, and this is gonna really hit home because I feel like I do deal with a lot of pride. And I feel like not only me, but just the average man really deals with pride. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if, you, if you're if you coming to me and you telling me I don't do it, you- No, I don't, I don't deal with pride. You're a liar because I feel like- A street liar. Every person in this world has an ounce of pride. Just a little teensy bit of pride. Um, and pride can be in a good way or in a bad way, and that's what I'm going to tap into. Uh, usually, a lot of people, you know, have like that American dream or like that American pride. I'm, I'm proud to be an American, and you know, and that could be good in a way, but it all is on a balance as well. And I feel like pride can really ruin a lot of things as well. Pride. In my life, I've seen it ruin, you know, relationships. I've seen it ruin, you know, bonds. And I've really seen it ruin people that I thought that I was still going to be close with or certain friendships. And, you know, I'm me being prideful and then the other person, of course, being prideful. Um, relationships tend to fret, break and fall, but that's how you really see and you really know who's really for you and who's not. Because pride is something that can be used to test and to see. Um, having too much pride in, in the same way is not only dangerous, but it can also cost you your life. I see where pride, you know, where you, you're not thinking with your right mind. Uh, there's clips and there's footages of people, you know, doing heinous acts, you know, based off pride. And I feel like pride is something very, very dangerous because I feel like you don't have to be around a whole group of people. You don't have to be, you know, around other people to influence your mind when it comes to pride and i feel like a lot of stuff from pride itself like this i feel like pride is really a biggest self battle um and besides the point if you guys you're not used to this little setup i'm just you know i'm sitting down i ain't feel like standing up for this video today I'm, you know, legs sore body sore everything sore <laughs> besides the point um yeah like as i was saying you know pride is something that yeah, I seen, you know, it destroyed a lot of people's lives. And I, I don't wanna want to get too biblical or, you know, cause I know not all of my audiences is religious, but if I am, of course, but you know, I do believe in, um, even in the Bible, it does mention where it says, you know, the man that's prideful, you know, he's not gonna really succeed because he's basically taking the spot of God. And I'm not saying that God is prideful, but God is the one that is providing. God is the one making the way. When you're kind of putting yourself in that limelight where you feel like you're the one that's doing that type of stuff and you're the one creating all your op opportunities and you're the one that's really doing it. and you, It feels good when you're in the moment and then you're seeing the successes, but you also got to recognize and deal with, like, listen, like, I did need help from a higher power. And, I, and this could be to anybody because I know not everybody is religious, but in my case, like, you know, I did need help from God, and it wasn't just all my strength. And it's really humbling, and it's really, you know, you can see a person's character when somebody is really seeing, you know, the successes and stuff. Because a lot of people say, oh, that person, for example, like, uh, what, was that, what was that chick's, that chick's name? That me, uh, that me I forgot the big girl. Who's that big, big girl? I forgot. You talk about Lizzo? Uh, Lizzo. Lizzo. Uh, how could I forget Lizzo? Uh, Lizzo basically was, you know, an artist that a lot of people made fun of, clowned, so-and-so, right? And another another artist, too, is Doja Cat. As a perfect example, and that's an artist that I did want to mention, Doja Cat. Um, I'm not going to lie, like... Those are the two artists that I've really seen, like where that pride stuff really shows, and it shows what they're really 
having success and when you're touching things that you've never attained before and when you're reaching new levels. And I feel like this is why it's always important to remain home. Um, I think Lizzo said something crazy, but or bizarre is going to mind. Oh, um, I'm not, uh, I don't care about my fans. Or no, no, I don't think it was Lizzo. I think she was disrespecting one of her fans, but it just gets to show you on how prideful she is. And she was, I don't know. No. Now that I remember, she was making fun of one of her fans for being overweight, right? And this was Lizzo, an overweight artist herself. And she was making fun of one of her other fans for being overweight. I remember it perfectly now, boom. And then Doja Cat was the one that basically was scrutinizing and, 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 sh and you know, really like, taking a shit on her fans and basically saying like i don't need my fans i don't like my fans they're idiots for listening to me and she was basically saying and talking bad about her fans so bad to the point where people were really considering canceling her but this crazy part is that she still had people following her and listening to her music and that's what pride does pride can have you thinking in such a way to the point where you feel unstoppable and that's a scary feeling because nobody's unstoppable. You could be seven foot, 300 pounds, and the most in shape, tallest, fittest person, but you're not unstoppable, game. And I feel like that's what a lot of people need to realize. Now you may be unstoppable if you have the right support system and if you put it in God's hands, and if you have other powers fighting for you whether that's evil or good. But it's never truly just gonna be yourself. That was a hard pill to swallow, for me at least. And I feel like certain people never have that realization. Certain people will forever be prideful. And then they wonder why they never marry. They never why, they wonder why the job didn't work out. They're falling off. There's a lot of successful people that's probably fallen off because of their pride. Pride is probably one of the most toxic ways of not only living, but thinking, feeling, especially when it's for negative and it's not for good. Because when you're prideful about certain things and it's for good, you can tell. But when you're not, it's easy to show as well. And I'm not going to keep yapping on to you guys because I know the major, the, the majority of people watching this already probably are not even watching anymore. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit a like, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Because Go Getter is out.